What's up with my way maker? This your boy Devon Truck coming back at you with another video. Alright, so look, this video is specifically geared towards men. Now it's not only for men, because women can do this as well, but this is specifically geared geared towards men. I know the title says straight men, but that's because I want you to know that looking good does not make you gay. Looking good does not have a sexuality. Everybody wants to look good, everybody wants to look their best. It's Hot Boy Summer 2019, Megan the Titan already told us what's up. So we gotta make sure we make her proud. You can't try to get a girl like Megan Thee Stallion and you looking busted. So you wanna look your best. You wanna look your absolute best. So I'm gonna show you how to finesse. I'm gonna show you how to finesse and make yourself look five times better without anybody ever knowing. Now, I know everybody at different levels. If you straight, you probably not. You probably like, bro, we're just talking about makeup for men, yada yada. But it's, it's level. So in this video, I'm gonna have on the screen different levels. So it'll be level one, level two, level three. So on and so forth. So I'll show you which level you can be at. So if you want to start at level one, your first time doing it, you want to just do like a level one situation. Cool. Maybe you want to graduate. Come back to the video later. Graduate to level two. Cool. This is what we're gonna do. So usually we start at level one, but we're gonna start before that. We're gonna start. We're gonna start at level 0.5, which is skincare. Skincare. You gotta wash your face. You gotta moisturize it. You gotta wear sunscreen. Those are the three basic things you need to do. Now there is like a certain thing you do during the day. So anything you need to do at night and i have another video on that coming later as far as it's specifically on skincare because men we have to wash our face you have to wash your face it's not gay washing your face has no sexuality i just want you to know that i understand that washing your face has no sexuality if you want to look good please wash your face you're running around working all day you're sweaty getting dirty you want to wash all that off you want to wash all that off every day so I already washed my face. So after you wash your face, you want to tone. When you wash your face, you throw off the balance in your face. You want to bring that balance back. So I use some witch hazel and I also use some micellar cleansing water. I put, I'm, I take a cotton pad like this. Now, do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. And I just go over my whole face. I wipe it over my whole face. Over my whole face, entire face, eyelids, everything. Wipe it over your whole face. I've already, I've already toned, so I'm not going to do it again. But after that, you want to moisturize. So I'm going into the simple replenish rich moisturizer. It's like a 12 hour moisturizer. My goal is to always have hydrated skin. I have pretty dry skin, so my goal is to always have hydrated skin. So I always want something that's gonna make, make my face nice and moisturized because after you wash it, it could end up a little bit dry. So I just want to make sure I bring you like all that moisture. All right, bye, that's done. We still on level 0.5. This is called the skin prep. So now, every step after this, I'm only gonna do on one side of my face so you can see the difference. Now, this side is my more problematic side. So I'm gonna do this side of my face so you can see the difference from one side to the other. Now, my under eyes can get, can get pretty crusty and dry. Sometimes I might have dark circle under your eyes. So you wanna make sure you get that some hydration. I use the L'Oreal Eye Defense, it's the eye cream. You don't wanna use the eye cream that's like anti-aging if you are young because it could age you. But I like to go in I like to go in with this one, it's nice and hydrating. That's how y'all got the hiccups. Grown ass man, I have the hiccups. Where did that come from? All right, so I take a little bit on my ring finger because your eyes is a sensitive area. I just take it right up under here where it might get a little dark. Oh crap, I'm supposed to do this side, my bad. So I'm gonna do this side as well. And I'll take some of my lid, eye cream, your eyes, include your lids. Let that soak in, let that sink in. Sometimes you might have some texture on your skin, you might have some pores in your skin. So you might want something that'll clear that clear that out. So I just go in with a primer. Even if I'm not gonna put on any type of makeup, I still have to go in with a primer. I actually just bought this today. It's the NYX Bear With Me uh, Hydrating Jelly Primer. Like I said, I have dry skin, so I like a lot of hydration. I'm gonna add it all over my face. I'm gonna avoid my nose because that's where I do get oily at. So I don't want to add too much hydration there. So this will also fill in some of that texture I have in my skin. Or hydration for up to eight hours. My dry skin definitely needs that. I kind of overdid it a little bit with that primer. But you see, it doesn't leave any type of residue, any type of cast. I am just look nice and good. I just look good. For real this time, everything else I'm gonna do just on this side. I'm gonna remember, I promise, for real. Now we go into level one. This is level one. This is the very basic, just to make yourself look a little bit better. I learned to use it a lot, so it's kind of rubbing off, but it's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. That's the word that's missing right there, Lumi. 
It's a L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infused Primer. So this is a, 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 a another primer, but it's like a glowy primer. It doesn't have to add like hydration, it adds like a glow. So you don't want to put this everywhere. I like to put it on like the high points of my face. So like my cheeks here, maybe a little bit on my temples right here, just to add, just to add that little, that little juice, a little oof to your face. So I'm gonna show you on, on this side. So I take it, and at first you first see it, it's a little, a little white. I put it right here in the high points of my face. I take my ring finger, I know the clean finger, and I just tap that in. Just tap it. As you see, it's adding a nice little glow to the skin. It doesn't add any type of glitter or nothing like that. No type of nothing like that. It's just now adds a nice little glow to the skin. Like that add that juice, that little that that extraness that you that you want. When I some beam on your face and she see you, you want her to see you. Or him. This is not like I said, it's not just geared towards men or straight men. But I'm specifically talking to straight men because I want to get rid of that stigma that looking good and using skincare or makeup is is has something to do with sexuality or gender. All this is made for everybody. All right, so my skin got a nice little glow to it. As you see, check it out. This without it. Add it up to my temple and my forehead here. Now, we're gonna make sure you get these lips together. You don't want no crusty, dry, crusted up lips. You wanna make sure you have some moisture. So, you can go with some chapstick, some Carmex. Next, have some cocoa butter, chapstick. I'll put on one, you get some Carmex, some cocoa butter. Cause they add me some nice hydration, but it don't last a long time. So then I go on top with this chapstick, cause it's a six, it's an eight hour wear. I mean, it lasts up to eight hours, but it do last a good, good boss. I ain't gotta apply too much. All right, so going to level two. I I do my skincare. So I, like I said, I, like I said, I will have a skincare video coming up. That's why my skin looks pretty good right now. Like I, I'm really proud of how my skin looks right now, cause because of my skincare. You know, we want to take it to even to the next level. We want to look even better. So. We're gonna start going with, with something that's called foundation. Now foundation, like if you paint or something like that, you know, you first you put your primer on and then you put your uh, your paint on. So this is like this is like the paint. This is what covers up anything, um, any blemishes, any dark spots, or whatever. There's two ways you can do this. So this is I guess level two and then level 2.5. So as you see, I have some like dark spots right here. I told you I got a little texture right here, which I'm gonna go on. I have like this mold right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna put a little bit right on top of those things. On top of those areas. Take your fingers, get a clean finger, and you just tap that into your skin. Tap it in until you can't reach until you can't see it. Now, when you have foundation, you wanna get one that matches you. You wanna get one that matches your color. The one that I have is the CoverGirl. CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. It's not completely transfer proof, but it is pretty transfer resistant. So, you know, it won't like get on to my clothes if you hug them too easily and you know, stuff like that. And it also lasts a long time, so it won't like fade off. Pat it and over those areas. And about those spots, they are gone. Now, the second way that you can do this with the foundation is, I take some, I put a little bit, square a little bit on the back of my hand like this, take my fingers, and swirl it pretty much on my whole cheek, on my whole cheek. So you wanna go like under where you put that, that glowy primer where you put this, under where you put that. So like right up, all up in here. Take that up to my forehead. Now I'm gonna take a blending sponge. This one, this one is from a brand called Morphe. You can find it in Ulta. Or you can find it online. They also have one from a brand called Real Techniques. This is pretty dirty. I don't use it anymore. But um, it looks like this. It's an orange sponge. You can find it in Walmart. It's about five dollars. You can get like a two pack for like nine dollars. So you just take this, take your sponge, and you want to blend that in. You want to pat, pat, pat all over. Cause let's say you have more problematic skin. You don't have just a few spots. You have you know a lot. You want to cover up. Take your whole foundation and just put it over your skin. Put it in about, you got a smooth, even, buttery complexion. So you do have more dark spots and stuff like that, you know, like all over your face. So that's level 2.5. So we had level two, we just dotted it on certain areas. We had level 2.5 where we put it everywhere. So now this next step will be level three. Um, I mean, you can, you can keep this in level two, 
I would say you can keep this in level two, but it's, you can't make this level three because you may not want to do this. Let's say you have dark circles in the eyes. You have dark circles, you may have some bags. There's a certain product that we have called concealer. Now concealer is made to cover up those dark circles. You ain't get no sleep, I'm tired, but you don't want to like you tired. This one that I'm using right here is from uh, L'Oreal. It's the True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. It's in the shade W910 Deep Profound. So I like this one because it's pretty close to my skin color, but it's a little bit, it's like one shade light. And it's in on your face, you want it to be a little bit lighter than the outside of your face. That's add the nice dimension to give you that extra sexiness. This one has a ball tip point. So I just placed some right up under here, just a little bit, you don't need too much. I'm gonna take my sponge. I want to bring it up closer to my eye. Now, I don't want to bring it up all the way up to the to, to the little skin that's right here under my eye right here because that can make it look like you have more makeup. I just want to bring it right up under that. That's usually where your bags happen. You just blend that in, blend that in. You don't want to bring that concealer all the way up here and you don't want to bring it all the way up into your nose. You want to keep it right up here in this general area up in here. Now, the main thing you do when you're blending is edges you need all the edges so around where you put that product wherever the edges are of your make of the of the concealer take your sponge and just make sure you blend it all the way in that's edges here along your nose and then bam dark circles and darkness up under your eyes all that's gone all right now i'm gonna take it to a next level this is gonna be level 3.5 I'm gonna take another concealer. This one's gonna be actually even lighter. And this one is by Maybelline. It's the Instant Age Wrong Concealer. It's in the shade Hazelnut. I'll take a little bit of this. It sounds like it's like a little ball tip applicator. Now, most concealers don't come like this. Usually they come with, with, with like this. And this is another good concealer as well. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. There's no honorable mention. I'm gonna take some on my finger. And when you're working up on the eyes, this is a very gentle area. So you always want to use your ring finger. And I'm going to start off right here in that little divot right at the center of my nose. I'm going to take this all the way down to about right here in my nose. And that is going to add a little bit, just a little bit more brightness to the center of the face. You don't want to add too much. Even, like, even this still could be a little too much. So blend that in. The first shade that I used is like one shade lighter. You can just keep it there. Or I went like three shades lighter with this and you just use a tiny, tiny bit. Now, the next level. If you have a beard, you're good. Cause the beard gives you that natural, what's called contour, which is the hollows of your cheeks. It just adds that in your in your face, adds that extra, that, that extra, the extra hot boy. Now, like I said, all this, you don't want to let you have more makeup. This is from Black Opal. This is their, it's actually a foundation stick. I like using for creams for my contour. So I take it and you see right under, we put that glowy, magic gloomy, right there, right up under it, is where you wanna put your contour. So right where you want, right where you like your cheekbone would be, right up under it is where you wanna put your contour. So I'm gonna take the stick, and I'm going to tap in to that area with this color. Now, with this, you wanna use a color that's two to three shades darker. This one's about two shades, I could go a little bit darker. Then you take your sponge again, and you blend it in. Now, you want to make sure you keep that sponge in that area, because wherever you put your sponge at is where that darker color is gonna be. You want it to be in that area, so you wanna blend it into that area. And also remember to tip with the edges. You wanna, once you give it, you know, spread it out some, keep those edges. Blend. So once you feel like you tired of tapping, tap some more. And about to add just a little, a little small dimension into your face. Now next step, this is not an optional step. Whether you did level one, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, you gotta do this step. You have to. This is level up, level everybody. It's called powder. So whenever you put some creams on, you want to set it with powder. You want to take a big fluffy brush. Even if you can find one fluffier than this, a nice fluffy brush and some powder. This one is from Maybelline as well. It is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm using the shade Dark 40. I want just a little bit. I have just a little bit that's in a sifter here. I'm gonna take my brush, tap in a little bit once, maybe twice. 
And I'm gonna go into the cap, tap some of that excess off, maybe swirl it in there some, and I'm gonna keep this in the cap here. And I'm gonna take maybe do like one dot on my hand to get off too too much extra. Cause you don't want you don't want to lose all that glow that you're gonna add it. So I just take that and I put that everywhere. Go back in to your cap. Same thing, maybe tap off a little a little once. And you put that everywhere, you don't put you don't put any kind of cream or anything. This is the last step. Kinda the last step. This is where you can this is where you like you can stop here, but I have a little extra at the end. So after you put all that powder, you put that powder down, you want to take away that powderiness in your face. So you will take this take some kind of setting spray, maybe something that's like dewy. Dewy dewy is is like kind of like wet kind of like a little a, a little wet a little wet skin a little nice juicy skin i'm gonna use this one is from mac it's a uh, fix plus it is a travel size bottle i actually prefer the anastasia beverly hills dewy set that's my holy grail but i left it somewhere so i gotta use this i'm gonna just use this it, it works pretty good as well this is empty so move on to another one. This is uh, by NYX. So you want to take your take your sponge and just tap over all of that, so you can have that melt all into your skin. I have two more steps. Now, these are optional, but I highly recommend them. I highly recommend them because there are two things that I know that I know for a fact that girls notice, especially notice about guys: the eyebrows, the eyelashes. And maybe like, oh man, I don't want to do nothing like that, like that. There's levels to it. So that's the end of that. This is my, this is the side with no makeup. I just add the hydration and the primer, which like I said, this is level one. You can get away with this. This is, this is perfectly fine. As long as you take care of your skin on a regular basis, you can, you can walk out the house and that's how hot boys look like that. But if you want to add a little bit more extra, a little more oomph, there it is. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look like I have on makeup. But my skin is even in complexion. You don't see any of those blemishes that you've seen before. Any the, the little dark details under my eyes. Just a little bit just a little bit of lightness under my eyes. Just a little bit of glow in the right areas. So when I rest on my face, it's like ba da ba ba. Let me get a little bit of close-up. This is the side with just skincare. And then here we have the side with the makeup. So as you can see, I walk out the house, nobody will ever know. I have like I have a nice even complexion here and I look nice and perfect and nobody will ever know. Quick tip. So let's say last minute you go on swimming. You don't want to have all this product and then because in today's society, it's not normal for men, especially straight men to wear makeup. It's not normalized, it's not something that's openly accepted for men, especially straight men, to wear makeup. I understand we're not at that place yet, so you may want to do something that you really can't tell that you have on makeup. So let's say you do go swimming. What I suggest is in your car, gym bag, whatever, keep like some baby wipes. You don't have to have no makeup wipes because that gets you, that people recognize that. Keep some baby wipes. While you in a car, driving, or you go to the bathroom real quick, whatever, Take your baby wipes and you wipe that and you just wipe it off. Wipe it right off. And go about your day. Nobody ever, nobody will ever know, nobody ever clock you. So the first thing is keep your skincare, which I told you I have a video coming up. Subscribe to my channel so you know when I upload that. So go ahead and have the information. It's 2019, it's Hot Boy Summer. Hot Boy Summer, Hot Girl Summer. So I'm trying to get her number, his number, whatever. Male, female, whatever. We want to look our best. Breaking that barrier. Looking good does not make you gay. Looking good does not make you gay. You don't have to use these products in a feminine way. You can use these products and still look very masculine and still look very much like yourself. I hope that everyone has taken something from this video. Subscribe to my channel down below. There's also like a little bell right there next to the subscribe button that you can click and you'll get notified when I do upload my other videos, like a skincare video that I have coming and other videos that I have as well. Like I'm gonna do like a foundation wear test where I try different foundations to see what works best as far as wear time and transfer and that kind of stuff. Also, if you like this video, give me a like and leave a comment down below and let me know how your hot boy summer is going or how your hot girl summer is going. All right, so that's all for today. And I'll see y'all in my next video, baby.